This is Kathy DeBoer, Executive Director at the American Volleyball Coaches Association. This recruiting tip of the week is brought to you by the Carolina Region, an affiliate partner of the American Volleyball Coaches Association. This tip will focus on the adjustments being made by college coaches to work within the extended dead period in NCAA Division I and travel restrictions for all coaches across the board. On August 13, the NCAA announced that the Division I recruiting dead period would be extended through September 30th. This means it's been over six months since Division I coaches have been able to see prospects in person either on or off campuses, and the COVID-19 pandemic and the travel restrictions has kept all coaches at all levels from engaging with prospects the way they normally would. Here are three adjustments they are making. A coach from a top 20 program in the Midwest said, I'm watching tons more video myself. I used to offload this task to my director of operations but now I'm really studying players personally. Fortunately, club and high school coaches have been good about providing footage. A coach at a Southern school who is new and building a program shared this. I'm paying more attention to physical metrics data than I ever did when I could see a player in person, especially speed and jump stats that are validated by an outside party. It can be hard to assess a player's physicality from video, but reliable metrics will at least tell me if she is physically in the sphere I need to improve my program. Finally, a coach of a top five program in the West shared this with me. I'm really liking how much I can get to know a player by visiting on Zoom. I'm learning so much more about who they are as people than I ever learned just sitting at courtside. We'll all go back out eventually, but I'm not giving up this new avenue for getting to know a prospect. We're doing our best recruiting ever during this dead period. I think we'll make a lot fewer mistakes in the future. So how do you help players get recruited when coaches can't travel? One, provide quality video. Two, provide validated physical metrics. And three, get them connecting virtually with schools they are interested in. We don't know what the COVID-19 virus will do next, so we need to be adaptable to our new situation and keep recruiting moving forward. And that is our recruiting tip of the week. Thanks for your membership in the Carolina region.